What's up guys, Knocker here, and today I'm gonna go ahead and show you what type of mic we use to make our videos. Now the mic we use is the Samsung G-Track USB condenser microphone which has a built-in audio interface. What this means is that we don't have to go buy a separate audio interface in order, in order to get the mic to work and get a decent sound out of it. Now the audio interface is a 16-bit 48kHz resolution. It's also powered by one USB audio cable, which comes in handy when you don't want too many cables around your desk. Now the mic itself does come with two input options, one being an instrumental and mic option and the other one being a line-in option. As you can see on the side, it does come with a line-in option which let, allows you to do some external recording using the mic itself. The mic also has three recording options, one being mono, stereo, and CPU. Now we personally always use mono just because it sounds better and it gives you that one uh, single audio sound coming out of it compared to stereo when you get left and right. So I would recommend always recording in mono. Now on the other side of the mic, you see the input headphone jack. Now this helps you out when you want to record it, you want to be able to hear yourself and monitor your, uh, your levels just to make sure you're not peaking too much. Now looking at the front of the mic, you have three knobs. One being a volume, instrumental, a mic volume knob. Now the volume knob lets you control the levels that's coming out if you're using the headphone monitor jack. The instrumental knob lets you control if you're using a line-in jack. Now the mic knob lets you control the volume of the mic itself. The Samsung D-Track is a pretty decent mic especially when you're starting out and if you're in a budget. Overall the mic is pretty decent and does have a decent quality to it. It's not that bad at all. My only con with this mic is the mic volume. As you go ahead and start recording with this mic, you'll start to notice that your mic volume levels are starting to change. Now that's because the mic volume knob is pretty sensitive. So, do, so during those uh, long hours of recording, you'll start to notice a little bit of change in your levels. And even though it might not be that much of a difference, it does get annoying, especially when you're trying to do a long recording in one single take. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. If you guys have any more questions about what kind of equipment we use in terms of recording or editing, leave it in the comments below. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. And I'm Knocker. Peace out.